Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create beauty videos, a little bit of fashion, as well as lifestyle vlogs. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. So today is gonna be my February favorites. This is probably one of the funnest videos that I get to create every month because I get to talk about all the new things that I love the most. This is probably gonna be the longest list of favorites that I've ever done before. But this month I got to try out out so many things and quite a few of them happen to be a hit so I'll be showing you guys makeup skincare fragrance shoes and even tech so we'll get started with the shoes the first pair of shoes I wanted to show you guys are some Uggs and these Uggs are called the golden star clog you guys I absolutely love these shoes so I did get this Ugg for Valentine's Day every year I get a pair of Uggs that I literally wear out <laughs> The past couple years I've been getting the Tasman Ugg that is extremely popular right now but I had been wearing them before there was a wave on the situation it wasn't a big wave when I started wearing them and they were so comfortable and went with virtually everything that I got another pair once I wore those out and this year I thought let me try something a little different and so I ended up getting these it's a clog style Ugg it's the same color that I get in a Tasman which is the chestnut color it has this cream colored bottom and then it has this sort of strap you can put around the back of your foot or you can lay it right here on front. Personally, I like to put it on front because I noticed at the back it makes this part right here kind of rub into my skin. But the star of the show is actually the sole. I think I got a little stain in it already. I've been wearing them since I got them. But the star of the show is the sole. You guys, this is not the regular Ugg sole on the inside that has come in the previous Uggs that I've gotten in the past. This one almost feels like you're walking on literal clouds. It's super cushy. It's something completely different, like I said, than the other ones that I've gotten. I don't know what type of technology is in it, but I am here for it, okay? When you walk, it's almost as if you're bouncing, like you're walking on clouds. They are so super comfortable. <laughs> I have to make myself put them away so I don't just wear them with everything. So yeah, this is the Golden Star Clog. I got them from the Ugg store. I'll put the link in the description box for anybody who's interested. So another pair of shoes that you guys recently saw in a haul is this pair of red, black, and white Jordan 1 Lowe's. And I absolutely love this sneaker. Anytime I need something this color I found myself pulling for this one instead of my red and black Yeezy 350s and they are super comfortable like I said in the other video where I showed you this is my first pair of low tops typically I get the mid top in the Jordan ones and so I'm really feeling this colorway I like the fact that it has sort of the off-white bottom it gives it a little bit more of a street look more of like a vintage more fashion type look I absolutely love them the fact that it has the red strings over like white or black I really love the way they look super comfortable so yeah this is the Jordan 1 low and I'm not sure the specific name of the colorway you know how they have like how they name them if you guys buy them so I'll just put the link in the description box so it'll tell you the exact colorway so next up is gonna be skincare so these three items you guys have already seen in a previous video as well probably two previous videos and they're all three from it cosmetics so I did receive this in PR but it so happened that all of the skincare stuff that they sent, which includes uh, two moisturizers and a serum, I end up really loving. Are they gonna replace my holy grails? Probably not, but it is such a good option for me to switch out because I don't like to use the same thing over and over. When I run out of a jar or something, I like to use something else and then go back to it. So this is the Confidence in a Cream. You guys, this right here is just a really good just highly moisturizing moisturizer super thick and luxe feeling I absolutely love it doesn't have much of a smell at all now this particular one I like to use it with my daytime routine and it just keeps my face very supple looking smooth keeps it moisturized all day long I love this one 
Now, the other one that I've been using is their nighttime one. This is the Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Cream. Now, this is the one I told you <laughs> that when it almost like it filled in like my little fine line, I guess you would call it right here. So this is um, this is what it looks like. It's just like a purple lavender color. And this one is just super moisturizing as well. It's different than the one I use for daytime. It gives it a different type, type of glow. It's a little bit heavier which I personally like. Before I put this on, <laughs> another one of my favorites is the Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Serum. So I put this one on first before I go in with this only at nighttime you guys this one is super super moisturizing as well with this and this couple together it just fills in my fine lines it makes my skin look a little bit more plump radiant when I wake up in the morning I see very much a visible difference and that's what I look for in skincare I look for a product that the very first time I use it I see a difference that's really the only way I know how to choose skincare that's another thing comment down below and let me know how you guys choose your skincare do you give it a week do you give it a month how do you choose your skincare because personally I like to see a difference the very first time I use it if not most likely I probably won't pull for it again so yeah this one is the confidence in your beauty sleep serum next up is makeup I actually have six items in makeup to show you guys that I've really been loving this month first thing I'm going to show you guys is some blushes now I don't think this was on last month's favorite you guys but I got a different color in it so this is the elf putty blushes now I've talked about this quite a few times over this month this one is in the color Isla Del Sol which is a bright super bright orange and then I also have the color Turks and Caicos, which is a coral color. So this is the difference. I love these blushes. <laughs> First of all, I think they're like $10 or $7 or something. Super inexpensive. They are cream blushes, but the thing I like the most about these blushes is you can use this on top of your powder or you can use it with your creams and set a powder on top. It doesn't look patchy on. Now, I have heard some reviews where they have another form formula in this that's like uh I think like a more glowy or glittery formula and I heard that that one kind of gets patchy but this one the one with the solid colors it doesn't get patchy on me it applies the color evenly smooth I like the fact that the color isn't super super pigmented so there's not too much blending involved it's not gonna you don't feel like you have to just keep trying to blend it out it's just seamless it gives you a nice wash of color and if I forget to do blush I can throw it on last and it's still smooth so this is is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. I do have two foundations on the list this month. The first one I wanted to show you guys is the Laura Mercier, the new Laura Mercier foundation. You guys, this foundation is everything. And on top of it being beautiful on the skin, it's like a medium-ish coverage, like medium to like not quite full coverage. You guys, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, I did do a full review of this foundation. Just to let you guys know, I did exchange it for a different color. I used praline in the review but I exchanged it yesterday for cinnamon so I'll put the color that I'm wearing now in the description box but it's just a very flawless foundation the longest I've worn this so far is about seven hours and it looked really good at the seven hour mark I only saw a little shine like right above my eyebrows and for me that's just amazing lately I've been doing reviews if you guys watch my foundation reviews you'll notice when when I come back six hours later after the wear test some of these foundations look quite dewy quite oily and I don't have oily skin so this was really saying something on top of the finish being so natural and beautiful so yeah this is the new Laura Mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation so the next foundation I wanted to show you guys I also did a review on and this is the it cosmetics CC cream this is another really good one the cool thing about CC creams is they color correct they have a lot of good ingredients for your skin I highly recommend this CC cream for my ladies over 40 only because something in the ingredients gives you remember how I was telling you guys that I like the um, 
the it cosmetics confident in your beauty sleep uh serum and moisturizer how that does that plumping thing that makes your skin look so smooth and just feels in the this cc cream does the same thing you guys it doesn't come in a whole whole lot of colors but i do find that one shade it kind of takes on your shade a little bit so it like for instance this one is called rich honey so somebody like a shade like a little bit lighter than me my color may be a little bit darker we would all be able to wear this because it takes on a little bit of your tone so that's pretty cool as well it does have spf 50 in it me being in houston that's an absolute plus and i was pleasantly surprised that it lasted you guys it didn't get super oily at all which i expect expect a CC cream or like a beauty bomb to get oily and this one didn't I'll put the link to the video right here if you guys want to check out that review but this is pretty good if anybody's tried it before comment down below and let me know what you think about it you know we like to discuss the beauty products in the comments but I think I only saw like one person in the comments that uses this so if you do comment down below and let me know if you love it so the next item that i've literally been obsessed with this month i've been using in every single video is the Yves Saint Laurent Lash Clash Mascara, you guys. This is so good. Not only is the packaging not beautiful, like it actually has like hardware on here with the like YSL logo. It's really cool and chic to me. With me, I never really thought I would have had a mascara on my favorites only because I have a really short lashes. So I, I personally felt like, oh, I can just wear any mascara because my lashes are so, so short and I always wear falsies. But the way I had been applying it was like going in this way. Like I said, because I have short lashes, that's how I've always applied my mascara. But one day I tried using it the way you're actually supposed to use it like this and like this, you guys, it lengthens my little bitty lashes, makes such a difference. It's smooth. It's not clumpy. I see a noticeable difference. And so, yeah, this is, this is my new fave in mascara right now. So this is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. Oh yeah. And I did look at the YSL Beauty website. They also have this in brown now in case anybody wants it in brown. Okay. Next up is the Stay naked quickie concealer now this concealer right here is uh, so bomb not only is it huge you get 16 ml of product which is almost double what most concealers come with as far as the amount of product in here it does double up and have a brush on the tip which i haven't used yet and then when you open it up it has a doe foot applicator you guys this is one of those full coverage concealers that gives you that super beat face look like if you come to slay, you want that matte, just super smooth. You gotta be careful because it dries really quick. Um, I did do a full review of this. I'll link the video right here. Click on that if you want to check it out, the full review of this. But this is different from any other concealer that I have in my collection. And when I finished my face the first time I used it, I was like, wow, you know, like this is just, and I typically don't do those looks like that. But for the days I want to do those looks, this is what I'll be going to. If I could compare this concealer to another concealer, I would compare it to the Shape Tape Concealer, which I used for years when it first came out, at least for like a couple years. This is comparable to that. Maybe a little better. I don't know. If you've tried this out, comment down below and let me know what you think. The last makeup item is actually a lipstick, and this is the NARS Power Matte Lipstick in the color Freebird. You guys, I've used this in several videos this month. Absolutely love it. It's a matte formula, but it's sort of pouncy and creamy in a sense. So it's not dry. It doesn't crack your lips. It's super smooth. This color is so nice. Let me swatch it for you. It's almost like it wants to be a burnt orange, but it's softer. If you wear nudes, especially like to work and you want something like work appropriate, I feel like this would be a really great alternative as far as color is concerned because now you're adding color that's not super bold or considered risque. I feel like this could be everyday wearable. It's not super bright or bold, but then it has just like that awesome pop of color at the same time. I've really been enjoying this one this month. Next up is fragrance, you guys. So the first fragrance is going to be Delina Exclusive from Parfait.
Parfums de Marley. I did a full review of this this month. You can click on that link if you want to see just the full review of this fragrance. But it's a beautiful rose fragrance. It just smells so sweet so expensive it smells so luxurious and fun at the same time i absolutely love this fragrance it is breathtaking it's one of those fragrances that's a super compliment getter if you're wearing it someone's sure to say what are you wearing or you smell amazing i went to um I had a conference at my kids school and I wore this and every single person in the office was like oh my god you smell amazing what are you wearing but that's been like the collective every time I wear it out I told you guys when I did the review that I'd be putting this away for a while but I lied I didn't I can't help but to reach for it even when I go to sleep I do my um, midnight amber glow routine because this is an ambery fragrance like an ambery rose fragrance I spray a little bit of this on the back of my neck and you guys I can't put it down <laughs> but I really like this one so this one is a uh, Delina exclusive from Parfums de Marley and the next fragrance is also a fragrance that I reviewed not too long ago and this one is Valentino's Donna Born in Roma the intense version this one is more of a nighttime scent it's deep it's sultry it's absolutely beautiful you guys it's sort of ambery it's like vanilla and jasmine it is sweet um it's a powerful fragrance though so if you want somebody to smell you if you want to smell real sexy and deep and you like vanilla and amber and lavender because it's heavy on the lavender you would probably like this so this one is valentino donna born in roma the intense version and last you guys is gonna be tech okay you guys know that i come out with videos almost every day at least five to seven days out of the week and with that being said i gotta have a super fast computer where i'm not sitting up four hours at a time you know editing and getting through you know the whole process of filming you know and obviously editing i did do a what i got for christmas video and this was on it so the apple studio is like a computer system you guys it has the new m1 chip in it that's supposed to be super fast and powerful I already use Apple computers, Apple products. Most of my electronics are Apple products. And so I could immediately tell the difference when I started using it. I started using it in mid-January and so, or towards the end of January. And so I was just kind of getting the hang of it. But now I've been using it every single day and I'm in love with it. It just makes the editing process so quick and easy because it's so powerful. I absolutely love it. Also, I did get the Magic Mouse and the Magic Keyboard, which which makes a huge difference you guys I highly recommend one of the biggest things that helps me out so much is the fact that the mouse you can use like a trackpad just like you would on your laptop so with the mouse you can literally slide your fingers across the top of the mouse this is the mouse here so you can slide your fingers like it's a trackpad and then you can slide up and down and it just makes it so quicker on my timeline when I'm editing I absolutely love it and the precision is everything I don't know if any of you guys are use the computer a lot for your job or if you use any type of editing software you know you edit on a timeline so with the magic mouse it saved so much time I didn't even think that it was going to save that much time when I did my research on it initially but you just fail to realize every extra second counts and with all of that scrolling and going to the middle of the timeline and going to the end you don't realize until you get something like this how much time it shaves off of it it's an absolute game changer for me in editing you guys so that's why I'm able to get these videos up so quick without getting frustrated <laughs> and the magic keyboard is no different I like the fact that it lays so flat that my wrist is just just as flat as the keyboard so I don't have to worry about you know how like people get issues with like their wrists or carpal tunnel and things my hand is literally flat with the table with the magic keyboard I absolutely love it it's super comfortable I haven't had any aches or pains now that was never a concern for me I didn't 
even realize like that was something that I should have been looking for but I noticed like other people use the computer a lot and they're having issues and it's uncomfortable and they have to do all y'all I get none of that it's just so flat I absolutely love it I'm enjoying it it's working for me you would think that I'm a tech person but really not <laughs> I'm a beauty person I'm into makeup and skincare and stuff like that not really into tech but you kind of get pulled into it a little bit when you do YouTube and that just makes such a difference to be able to edit quickly and comfortably. So that's it for my February favorites. Hopefully this video was not too, too long for you guys and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. That's how YouTube knows to push my videos out to more people. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Our little family is really, really growing. I want to thank all my new subscribers and all my retailers turning subscribers it's really great to get to know you guys in the comments the things that you guys like don't like interested in not really quite interested in you know it really helps me out a lot and it sort of helps others know the things that they might be interested in getting or the things that they might want to pass on for the month so thank you all once again I appreciate y'all watching from the bottom of my heart and I'll see y'all on the next one Cause I've been where you are Don't just get to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars Well I don't have the answers